So it's really important at the beginning of the walk that you don't let the dog go out rushing. You want your dog to sit, you want your dog to stay, you want to be calm. Okay, in my defense, a really long leash like this becomes super knotted just by setting it down. So best not to just let her out there with a bunch of knots in the leash. Yep, and still more knots. Okay. Good girl, Olive. So once I've gotten all the knots out, I'll open the door very slowly and ask her for a stay. And she stays. Then I ask her for a wait, which is a patient walk without going in front of you and barging through. I ask for another sit and another stay while I go to close the door. Now I'm not gonna let her charge even once we're outside. I want her to stay at my side. So if she starts pulling, I'm gonna redirect her back, say nope, and let her go and redirect her back when she pulls. And this applies to when you're even out front. This walk has to be you in control, not her. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I get her focus. I use the command, watch me. So I showed her that I have a little bit of peanut butter, put it up to my eyes, they watch me. Put it up to my eyes, watch me. Good, watch me. Good, and reward. Good girl. Peanut butter still on my finger and I'm guiding her while saying heel. This will get a dog who's new to this to the idea that when they're by your side, they hear heel, they stay by your side, good things happen. And having that peanut butter there really helps to guide them and keep them focused on you. Now this is without the peanut butter on the finger. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Ask for heels, I'm going to be turning while asking for a heel. I'm gonna look like a crazy person, but that's fine. And a big emphasis on keeping contact with me, whether that's staying by my side and looking up at me, or both, which is preferable. Good girl, Liv. Look at that focus. All right, so we're gonna take this now to the next step, which is in front of the neighbor's house who has a dog that is by the gate. You can see him up by the gate. He's just chilling, watching us. And what I'm doing is I'm starting from far away. I want her to feel comfortable enough. I don't want her to react and I want her to be enjoying herself even though there's another dog across the street. Taking things slowly, asking for focus, asking for a heel. Even giving random rewards for not reacting. So when you teach a dog to walk properly, it actually shows them how to have a good time walking, a positive experience. So that things like people and other dogs aren't a bad experience. So I hope this kind of helped you out. This is the beginning of how we're working on our reactivity. There's lots of other things that you should do alongside that. Basic obedience is key. Confidence is key. Fear is the driving force behind aggression. And leash aggression is no exception. So let's teach them how to be confident on a walk and not fearful. All right, bye guys.